In this video, I will give you an intuition about mixture of frequencies on the EEG. I suggest you type in the following URL address desmos.com slash calculator and you will have access to the graphing calculator available on the internet. You can think of EEG as a mixture of different sine waves. So let's see what are sine waves. Let me write, here, write up of an equation here. So y is equal to sine x. The waveforms that you see here, these are sine waves. And you can transform these sine waves by making certain changes on this equation. So if I say y is equal to 2 sine x, you can see that the amplitude of this waveform increases. If I make it y is equal to 4 sine x, you can see it quite visibly, the changes that occur in the amplitude. Instead of making the change at the beginning of this equation, if we make it y is equal to 4 sine 10x, what you see is any changes between the sine and the x here determines the frequency. Any change earlier, so if I make it 1 sine x, changes the amplitude. Okay, so this is one frequency. Let's type in another frequency. So y is equal to sine 2x. And you can see that there are two frequencies, one represented by the blue color and one represented by the red color. And let's add one more frequency. y is equal to sine 60x. And this is very similar to the 60 cycle artifact or the electrical artifact that you see on the EEG machines. So you, there are three different frequencies here. We'll cut down the amplitude of the 60 cycle artifact here. We'll call it 0.5 sine 60x. Now you see three distinct frequencies here. So on the EG you do not see each frequency stand out on its own. It is rather a mixture of all these three frequencies showing up together. And to represent that what we will do here is add these three frequencies. Uh, so we'll put all these three frequencies in one line. So y is equal to sine 10x plus sine 2x plus sine 60x. And I will take away the other two frequencies here. So this is a combination of three frequencies, some 60 cycle artifact, some 2 hertz frequencies, some 10 hertz frequency. If you add, you can keep adding more. You can say sine, let's say 9x and you get, oh, sorry, plus sine 9x and you get another frequency. You can change the amplitude of a specific discrete frequency. So if the 60 cycle artifact is not the same amplitude amplitude as the alpha frequency which is represented here by 10x we can make it 0.360 cycle artifact so you see some 60 cycle artifact that overlies some of the sl relatively slower frequencies if you want to add, make it a very slow frequency in the baseline you can say 0.5 uh, sine 10x or you can add another frequency sine 0.3x which is a very slow frequency here. So you can see these multiple frequencies that show up on this EEG. So when we talk about a mixture of frequencies this is what we mean. Mixture of many different sine waves show up on the EEG. And likewise when you have an EEG signal using a technique called fast Fourier transform, you can uh, decompose an EEG into its individual frequencies and calculate the power, the contribution of each of those frequencies on the EEG. 
and you literally use the fast Fourier transform to move from the time domain to frequency domain. So the fast Fourier transform is not within the scope of this discussion today. I hope you understand what mixture of frequency means and I will see you at the next tutorial. Thank you.